Hello and welcome to another in the TCD 5 in 5 series. This is where we aim to introduce you to five native species in five minutes. And I'm sitting here in a beautiful flower rich semi-natural grassland in Tymon Park. So we're just at the edge of Dublin, you can hear the M50 in the background, and yet I'm on an Esker Ridge supporting lots of different grassland species. My name is Maria Long, I work as a grassland ecologist with the National Parks and Wildlife Service and I'm just delighted to be able to show people some uncommon plants in a beautiful semi-natural grassland that's really accessible in a public park, the southern end of Tymon Park, managed really well by South Dublin County Council. So I'm sitting absolutely surrounded by a beautiful floral display. All of these white flowers are the really stunning Burnet Saxifrage. Scientific name is Sax it's Pimpinella saxifraga. Uh, so this is a species of calcareous grassland. So it's found in areas that are kind of free draining. So when the water falls, it can move quickly through the soil um, and limestone rich areas. So you won't find this in wet areas or boggy habitats. It's absent actually from much of the Northwest and Southwest of Ireland, but otherwise it's, it's uh, fairly widespread. So this species is, it might remind you of something, it re might remind you of uh, wild carrot or even carrot that you grow in your garden. So it's in the same family as carrot. So it's quite recognisable. So these little small flowers held together in an arrangement called an umbel. How you tell this species apart from, from other members of the carrot family, there's two different types of leaves. So down at the very base you have one leaf type and further up along the stem you have a much more divided leaf. There's a clue in the name to a medicinal use that this plant had in the past. So it's called Pimpinella saxifraga, and saxifraga means bone breaker or stone breaker, and it was often used in the treatment of um, kidney stones and bladder stones. So I'm standing here next to a good healthy sized clump of a grass called coxfoot. The scientific name is Dactylus glomerata. This is a very common grass in Ireland. Everybody should be able to find it within maybe a few hundred metres of their house without too much trouble. Uh, it grows tall, so you might find it in hedgerows, roadside banks. It also makes very good herbage though and, and very good feed for cattle, particularly early in the year and particularly after a, an early graze or an early mow. Um, it isn't very palatable after it's flowered, so the cattle wouldn't like this that much. Um, it's called garovere, or rough grass in Irish, which is very, very useful because the grass feels very rough to the touch. It's recognisable because of these really um, chunky, kind of clustered flower heads. These are mostly dead, so they're looking a little brown now, but still very recognisable. Uh, so it's quite rough to the feel, like I said, and down at the base in particular, this plant is very recognisable by the feel. It's rough down at the base and you can feel two ridges right down at the base of the stem and it makes it very, very recognisable. But I think the, the, the shape of the heads also, this is supposed to represent uh, or, or kind of mimic the shape of a cock's foot. That's what gives it its common name. I think you'll have to use your imagination on that one. So we're here now on the top of the Esker Ridge and you can see there's a footpath behind me. So just at the top of the Esker Ridge and we have a beautiful calcareous grassland species in front of us. Field scabious is the name of this plant. Nautia arvensis is the scientific name. It's a member of the teasel family. The Irish name I think is very interesting. It's called Buddock Gurum and it means the old blue man. So really one of the big distinguishing features of this plant is its large kind of lilac coloured flowers. Really distinctive, very little like it. Um, it's not, it's, it's absent from a lot of the western seaboard of Ireland, you find it in Clare and Galway, but it's relatively widespread though uncommon across much of the rest of Ireland. You'll find it in meadows like this, but less common because we have so few of them, but often along roadsides. So watch out for this plant in late summer as you drive along the roads. So we're up on the Esco Ridge and I'm surrounded by a patch of this beautiful plant called Rest Harrow, Ononus repens is the scientific name. Very interesting plant. People often ask about the name. Where does the name rest harrow come from? So the roots of this plant are extremely fibrous and tough and very extensive. And in the past, it often caused problems for plowing. And so plow, the, the, the roots would often get tangled up in the plow and the plow might have to be freed. So the harrow would have to be rested. So it got in the way of harrowing or plowing. And also the Irish name for this plant is called Shrangbawa, which means bowstring. And there's a thinking that the roots, the fibres from the roots may have been used as bowstrings, maybe for fiddles or similar. Um, it's, it, it, it isn't widely distributed in Ireland. So this is a, a coastal plant largely, south and east coasts of Ireland. There are some inland sites in Leinster, but otherwise not really known from a lot of the rest of Ireland. It's a member of the pea family. And you might recognise the flower shape. It looks like gorse or maybe a member of sweet pea that you might grow in your garden. So quite recognisable flowers uh, in that they look uh, like a typical pea flower. 
The other thing that makes this plant really easy to identify is that it's really sticky. So if you touch it, it's really, really sticky to the touch. So it's one that is, it's easy to tell if you come across it. So in front of me here, we have common knapweed, also known as blackheads. So this is the plant here and you can, you can see, you can imagine why it's called blackheads by some people. So this is a member of the daisy family. So it's related to common daisy in your garden. It's also known as knop on dove in Irish, which I think means the little black button. So again, relating to the, to the, the heads, the flower heads after the flowers have gone. Uh, quite a common species in Ireland, but when I see this in a field, I take it as a kind of an indicator of low intensity agricultural management. So if I see this in a field or a meadow like this, I know that the area is being managed in a low intensity way and is going to be good for nature. This plant is really good for pollinators, so pollinators often visit the flowers. The plant has been used in the past for, for lots of medicinal reasons, to treat jaundice and liver ailments, and also for conditions of the lungs, for TB and for asthma.